pre-operative check-up of farm tools, implements, and equipment. Ayusin ko muna tong camera ko. Ayan. Farm tools, implements, and equipments. Bali, pre-operative check-up. Pre-operative check-up, meaning to say, titingnan po natin or check po natin kung ayos ba yung mga, mga ito bago gamitin. Kunwari class, balak mong magtayo ng vegetable garden kasi may bakanting lote kayo sa bahay nyo. And then, um, syempre, gusto mong gamitin na yung mga garden tools na tinago nyo sa bahay. What if natagpuan mong puno ng kalawang at madumi yung garden tools? Anong gagawin mo? Paano mo mamementay yung good working condition ng mga tools mo? Paano? Kaya dapat maintindihan mo to kasi tuturuan kita kung paano malinis yung mga garden tools na yon o kaya farm tools and paano mapatalas yung mga kailangang um, kailangang patalasin. Kung paano mapatalas yung mga matatalas na garden tools. So, unang gawin natin ay paano mapapalinis. Unang gawin natin is linisin yung garden tools. So, sa ating lecture, we have how to clean your garden tools. So, syempre, basics muna. Mga first step. Number one, shovel, spade, hoe, or even the blades. Yung mga blades po, ang gagawin mo dun ay tanggalin yung mga kalawang sa blade. Bakit kailangan tanggalin yung kalawang? We have to extend the life of the tool para magamit pa sa susunod kang mag... Uh, sa susunod mong pag-garden o kaya sa mga kapatid mong mag-garden, it will cut through the soil better. Siyempre, maganda yung pagkakagat nung blade mo o nung talim sa soil at mabubungkal mo yun. And less effort to use. Hindi ka may hirapang gamitin yun kasi nasa maayos na condition yung garden tools. Yung whetstone, Okay, ano yung whetstone? It is an ideal tool to use to keep all of the cutting edges of your garden tools or yung panghasa natin or whetstone. So, tingnan nyo tong gif. So, ay ganyan po yung paghiwa dito sa knife. So, in a way, pinapatalas po ng whetstone o panghasa or hasaan ang ating garden tools na merong blades. Next, the best way to use the stone is to find a way to stabilize the tool that you want to work on. So, a bench vise is ideal. Dito po sa bench vise, katulad nito, yan, di ba, pinipress niya. So, ilalagay mo yung hasaan doon para hindi kumalas-kalas o hindi matanggal yung whetstone sa lugar. Kunwari, yung whetstone o hasaan nilagay mo sa table. Baka mamaya, pag-strike pag mo, nung mismong blade, baka mamaya yung whetstone ay mabasag. O syempre, hindi mo na mapagpapatuloy yung paghahasa. Kaya dapat, mas maganda na i-attach, ilalagay mo dyan, ayan, then then ipipress dito si hasaan para hindi siya gumalaw-galaw. Okay, at mahasa mo na ng maayos yung pruning shear mo. Tawag dito ay bench vise. etong Aparatos na to. This is a bench vise. Number three, apply a lubricating oil or apply a little lubricating oil to the end of the tool and carefully begin to work the stone over the blade. Ito yung pruning shear natin. So, lubricating oil po. So, nililubricate po niya or lubricant para in a way, kaya mo pa siyang ma-operate o ma-close or ma-open, close-open yung iyong garden tool tulad nitong pruning shear. Okay? Little lubricating oil. Huwag naman marami. Gusto natin kasi na hindi maging matigas. Kasi pag naging matigas yung pruning shear mo, hindi mo na siya makuklose o ma-open. Okay? Hindi na siya makakakagat. So pagka ganun, masisira. Masisira yung mismong Uh, bolt dito o yung parang tornilyo. 
Okay, masisira na hindi niyo na magagamit yung pruning shear. So dapat lagyan natin ng konting lubricant. Number four, moving parts of your guarding tools should disassemble. So kung kayang ma-disassemble ma po yung moving parts na yon, i-disassemble po natin ng malinisan. Okay, o malagyan ng lubricant. Clean accumulated rust and dirt off all metal surfaces with a wide brush. Ito po yung wide brush. Okay, clean accumulated rust and dirt off all metal surfaces with a wire brush. Itong wire brush ay made up of uh, steel. Okay, steel siya. So, bakal din yan para matanggal yung kalawang, matanggal sa pagkakadikit. Remove stubborn rust from small tools. Pag small tools naman, gagamitan mo ng fine steel wool. Ito po yun, itong nasa larawan. Fine steel wool. So ito, pamilyar sa atin to sa pag, uh, pag, mag, pag gusto nating maglinis ng kawale o kaldero ng utensil sa kusina. And ito, dapat fine lang po, fine. Huwag yung malalaki na kasi small tools lang naman yung gagamitin natin. Okay? At para madaling mahawakan. Number seven, you use your old toothbrush with some lightweight lubricating oil. So, lalagyan mo yan ng konting lubricant. It's a great way to work fresh oil into the joints of most garden tools. So, sa joints po. So, kanina yung joints nitong pruning shear. As ito. Ito, ito. ito yung joint. Okay. Sa joint na to, okay, kaya mong malinis na yun gamit ang old toothbrush na may konting lubricant. That's for number 7. For number 8, you use a medium grit sandpaper to remove rust on larger tools such as shovels, spades, and hose. So, para sa itong medium so, para sa itong um, medium grit sandpaper, it is used for smoothing surfaces and removing small imperfections na makikita natin sa ating mga tools. Kaya naman class, uh, itong example ko dito ay kahoy kasi wala akong makita ang bakal o garden tools na ginagamitan ng sandpaper. Let's assume na garden tool ito. Okay, pero medium grit lang po. Medium. Kasi may mga iba-ibang klase yan. May medium, iba naman may fine. So, okay? O kaya yung sobrang kapal na sandpaper. So dito po lang tayo sa medium size. For larger tools. Okay? To remove rust. After cleaning, now we have sharpening. So dito, how to sharpen your garden tools. Once your tools are cleaned, they are ready to be sharpened, hasain, para maging matulis yung mga blades. When sharpening, try to maintain the original factory bevel or angle. Yung original factory bevel or angle na sinasabi, for example, we have this knife. So, kunwari, nasa 45 degrees. Nasa 45 degree lang po ito. Okay, from, from the y-axis dito, from this from y axis okay 45 degree big sabihin yung paghasa mo eh 45 degrees lang hindi pwedeng naghasa ka dito naging 35 okay o naging paganyan na bawal pag po yun kung ito ay 45 dapat yung paghasa original factory bevel okay class katulad nitong ano sa left part dito sa edge before sharpening ito kunwari na sa 20 degrees Nung hinasa niya, after sharpening, ayan na, ito, ito. Na-maintain pa rin niya yung angle, okay? Edge lowering distance during sharpening is half the blade thickness in double bevel knives and the blade thickness in a single bevel. Lowering distance. Thickness behind the edge. So, yun nga po, i-maintain mo yung, ano, yung original angle. Huwag naman pong sumobra. Siyempre, hindi yun masasobra o kumulang. Okay? Huwag naman pong ganun. Kasi masisira po yung mismong orientation ng blade. And syempre, the more na maghasa ka, the more na mababa, or malaki yung angle pala with respect to the y-axis, kasi pwede, ito, pwede malaki from y. Eh di, 
matrabaho na ulit. Eh, ayaw naman natin maging matrabaho. Gusto lang natin i-maintain o hasain. Yun naman yung purpose natin. Mahasa lang. Without uh, distorting the original angle. For number two, for pruners. Okay, for pruners po. Kailangan natin gumamit ng whetstone. Okay? So, yung pruners ay type of scissors for use on plants. So, kunwari, may plants tapos meron siyang extra twigs. So, um, matatanggal yun. Makakat mo yun. They are strong enough to put or to prune the hard branches of the trees and the shrubs. Okay, so mga centimeters thick, yung mga ilang centimeters thick, yung kaya niyang maputol gamit ang pruners. So, kailangan po ng whetstone because it produces a very sharp cutting edge. Depending on the type of whetstone, apply a few drops of oil or water to the stone. Okay, apply a few drops of oil or water to the stone with the beveled side of the blade against the stone. Rub the sharp edge of the blade towards the stone in a curved motion as you were trying to shave off a thin slice. Okay, thin, dapat, ano to, hindi, hindi thin slice, mali yun. Dapat slice, yan. E correct natin. Okay, with the beveled side of the blade against the stone, dapat against the stone, rub the sharp edge ng blade towards the stone in a curved motion. Dapat medyo pa kurva. Okay, pa, pa curve yung motion, pa ganyan, pa curve. When working with the file, ayan po yung file. Panghasa rin po ito na pahaba. Tapos meron siyang small grits. Yung small grits, parang pag kinlose up mo yan, makikita kang mga horizontal diagonal lines. Yan, mga diagonal lines na sobrang maliliit. Yun po kasi yung maghahasa ng mga blades. Maghahasa. So when working with a file, stabilize the blades in a vise. Ilalagay mo sa bench vise or against a solid surface such as workbench. Kailangan may patungan yung blades. To avoid injury and ensure an even stroke para maganda yung pagkakahasa. Always push the file across the blade in a motion away from your body. Katulad nitong ginagawa ni, ni Kuya. Away from his body palayo. Dance for me, dance for me, dance for me, oh, oh. I never seen anybody do the things you do before. Move the file diagonally. Katulad nitong file, uh, hinahasa po itong pala. Diagonal po yan. So that its cutting teeth or the small grits are biting into the metal on the tool. When sharpening with the file, do not use oil. Bawal pong gumamit ng oil when sharpening with a file. Metal filings will accumulate and clog the file's serration. Number four, for the farm implements like ordinary plow and wooden harrow, should be checked thoroughly before use. Loosened bolts and nuts, yung mga tirnilyo, should be tightened mahigpit. Okay, tightened firmly mahigpit. Ito, katulad nito, kinalawang na yung nasa taas. Ito sa baba. Ito, ano pa to bago? Ayos pa to. Okay? Should be checked thoroughly before use. Kasi baka mamaya, pag hindi mo na-check, eh magkakalas pala. Pag kumalas yan, hindi ka, hindi ka na makakaproceed sa ginagawa mo sa farming. Kalas na. At nasayang yung araw na yon na dapat sana natapos mo nang bungkalin yung lupa. Okay, and also, kapag nagkalas po yun, pwede kang matamaan, pwede kang magka-injury. Disc plow and harrow should also be lubricated on their moving parts like bearings. Yung mga moving parts po, katuloy na itong bearings, kailangan pong lubricated, lagyan po ng oil. Tractor should be tuned up very well by skilled operator. So, chinecheck po ng operator, skilled operator, yung tractors, kung okay po yung makina, kung meron na bang gasolina, Okay ba yung mga, yung gulong, naka-attach ba yung dapat ma-attach doon? Okay, okay, malinis ba yung, malinis ba yung sa internal nitong tractors? Tools that are worn out should be separated and be fixed immediately to avoid accident. Ipacheck po sa nakakatanda, 
sa tatay o sa mga kuya yung tulas na gagamitin para makaiwas sa aksidente. I-check kung pwede pa bang gamitin kasi kung hindi pwede na pong ibasura. Pero po kung ilalagay niyo sa basurahan kailangan may label na hazardous material. Okay, self check muna tayo. Self check. Dito sa self check titingnan natin kung natandaan po natin yung mga um ways to clean the tools and ways to sharpen the tools. Is it true or false? So may mga sasabihin po ditong statement, tama ba 'yon o mali? Okay, it is not advisable to use whetstone in a stabilized way. 10 seconds. The correct answer is false. So it is advisable to use whetstone in a stabilized way. Okay, advisable po yun na gumamit ng whetstone. For number two, tools that are worn out should be separated and be fixed immediately to avoid accident. Answer is true. Tools that are worn out should be separated para makaiwas sa aksidente. Next number, number three. When sharpening, try to maintain the original factory bevel or angle. True or false? <laughs> Correct answer is true. Tama yun. Number four. Always push the file across the blade in a motion away from your body. True or false? Okay, time's up. The correct answer is throw it away from your body. Last item, number five. When sharpening with a file, use oil. <laughs> Correct answer is false. When sharpening with a file, wag pong gumamit ng oil. Okay, that's it for the pre-operative checkup of farm tools, implements, and equipment. Pede na po na.